Hey guys, because many of you requested a motion blur tutorial in the video I uploaded yesterday, uh, this one. If you haven't watched it yet, please check it out. Um, yeah, everyone wanted. Yeah, many people asked for a motion blur tutorial, and yeah, so here it is. Um, I will also show you what to do with like stuff for like motion blur for text. So yeah, but first for clips. Um, so what I use is Resmart Motion Blur, of course. Um, so direct that onto your clip. So, um, pretty much, uh, you don't have to change that much here, um, but you shouldn't make it like too too much bl uh, blur because if you are spinning fast or if you use this for trick shot, it won't look good. So, uh, what I would do is um, for just some, if you want to put this over a montage or something, then um, you don't want to see it like all the time, but just on the like fast movements. So. I would change the um, motion sensitivity to uh, something like 60. So if you change this way up to 100, uh, even small, like not fast motions, will be motion bl uh, will have motion blur. But we don't don't want that. So change this to something like 50 or or 60. But I think 50 is fine. And then the blur amount is basically the motion blur amount. So yeah, as it says. So uh, we want this a bit more, something like no uh, comma seven or even uh, one. I think one should work also work fine here. So let me just quickly preview this. So you see, like in the fast move, uh, this is a fast movement because he like drags it up, uh, drags the scope up fast. So there will be motion blur, but um, and also when he like. Uh, uh, turns to the left. There's not that much motion blur, but you will be able to see it later. So, like when he drags the scope, there's mo more motion blur, and yeah, it looks pretty nice. It makes everything smoother. Like you also see that here, without motion blur, it would like look like that. So, and also here. But if you want more motion blur, then you should change the sensitivity to something like yeah, 60, and the blur amount to. Uh, no comma seven or something, and then you will have m more motion blur. Uh, no, I won't pre preview this now because it's obvious. You don't need that for this. Um, but now another thing for text. Um, this is just a short text animation. Let me just preview this. So for text, you shouldn't use resmart motion blur because it just do doesn't look as good on text. Um, I would recommend to use the uh, normal motion blur that's built into After Effects. I will quickly show you how to do that. So this is just the text comes from the top and from the bottom. Preview it. So no, there is no motion blur now, but if you want to enable the motion blur, let me just go to a frame where it's moving. Let's say this frame. Then you just simply, um, if you don't have these three options, press F4. And you should see them. So on your two, uh, on your text layers, you enable this like with these three circles, and then you click on enable motion blur for all layers with motion blur switch set, and then there will be motion blur. And this looks much better than respawn motion blur on text. So yeah, I would recommend to use uh, the normal After Effects motion blur because also the rendering is faster than. So for clips, you can use these settings and. Maybe also create your own settings. So yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any more uh, tutorial requests, please leave them in the comments. Um, as I said, I will upload daily to Monova 3 if I get enough good positive feedback and requests. So yeah, please like the video and bye. Sorry for this. Okay, now bye.